Hey guys, uh, welcome to your energy check-in for Gemini. This is going to be for the first half of, uh, half, half of your July from the 1st to 15th. We're going to take a look at your over energies, what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys can expect for the first half of the month. And then we'll see what the possible outcome and advice are and what else you guys need to know. So um, apply this to your own unique situation, okay? Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Uh, this could be in anything. Um, so nothing specific. We're just gonna see how. Uh, we're just gonna see what the cards have to say. Um, what else? Uh, this could be in, in any replacements. Also, if you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Uh, also keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Gemini people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading specific to your unique situation, your energies, I suggest you book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box. Okay, so um, Gemini, let's get started. Over energies for Gemini. What is surrounding Gemini? What does Gemini need to know for the first half of their July from the 1st to 15th? What do we have for Gemini here? Knight of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Seven of Cups. Seems like you guys have a lot on your plate. Seems like you guys could be working on multiple projects, multiple different jobs or something like that. Or I'm getting that some of you guys might be um, freelancers or something like that. So for the first half of your month, it seems like there's a lot of projects going on here for you, I feel, or that you're taking on a lot of things, okay? Um, with the Five of Swords. With the King of Wands here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. There is an energy for the first half of your month. You're 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 putting yourself first. You're looking out, looking out for yourself. You know you're going for things that you're really passionate about or th doing things that you really enjoy here. Um, Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sag with that King of Wands, with the Nine of Swords and the Five of Cups. I mean, for some of you guys, Gemini, you could be taking too, taking on too much, and it could be stressing you out too stressing you out there's anxiety here uh when i see the nine of swords and the five of cups this is this could be an indication that some of your drinks a lot or that some of here is unable to sleep okay um because there there is someone here is so much in their head and, and so anxious about you know a, a, a lot of things that it, that is currently going on uh so it could be a situation that you know you're taking on more than you should right now uh gemini okay uh the knight of swords the world in the reverse there's so many things that you're taking on right now that you're not completing anything so i feel like spirit is asking me to do things do things one at a time because i feel like contracts are being signed and you're supposed to meet these specific deadlines for these projects or something like that but it's not happening or that you're, you're needing an extension, okay? Uh, so I feel like you might be taking on too much. Like I said, Seven of Cups. And a Strength card, Leo Energy. You know, I feel like you have trouble saying no. It's like poor impulse control. Like, I, I feel like some of you are just kind of like, yes, 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 you know? Instead of like, sort of like taking a step back. Leo Energy with that Strength card. Why is this Five of Swords here? Tell me about this Five of Swords. With a Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy. Yeah, so I feel like a lot of job opportunities are coming your way. A lot. I do feel like a lot of you guys are freelancers. Um, some of you guys might do some sort of freelance work in like the performing arts or something like that. Something in the arts, okay? Uh, Page of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. I feel like a lot of you guys work multiple jobs. Uh, the uh, King of Wands. We the Hangman here. Piscean Energy. Yeah, so I feel like someone here needs to take a step back and reassess and sort of reevaluate. Yeah, I feel like someone here is doing too much Piscean Energy with the Hangman, Nine of Swords, the Eight of Wands. Why is this uh, Five of Cups here? Seven of Swords, you know, I feel like someone here is sabotaging their own health here, sabotaging themselves by doing this. It's actually creating more unhappiness 
than happiness here. Okay, and I feel like someone here is moving too fast. Someone here needs to slow down. Yeah, because I just feel like there's an energy that someone here is not getting things done. Okay, uh, yeah, someone here is overworked. Eight of, eight of Pentacles. Okay, uh, let's see what else we have here. Uh, outcome and advice here for Gemini regarding their situations. What else does Gemini need to know for the first half of their Gemini? What else does Gemini need to know here? Okay, so the High Priestess and the Four of Pentacles. You know, just because you say no it doesn't make you, you know, less than what you are. Or it doesn't make you productive. It's just, it's just having boundaries. Yeah, setting boundaries. Uh, because the thing is, if you always say yes to things or say yes to people, people could take advantage of you very easily. Yeah. So the High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces, the, the Four of Pentacles, I feel like for some of you guys, you know, maybe some of you guys fear being homeless or something like that. Uh, maybe, you know, maybe, you know, you grew up in um, a family where you guys struggled with money and they feel like you don't want history to repeat itself, okay? Uh, the Ace of Cups in the reverse. Two of Pentacles in the reverse. Some of you guys are not even looking for new love. Or that some of you guys are not taking care of yourself because the lack of care for yourself is a lack of self-love. The star, Aquarius energy, the moon, Cancer Pisces. You know, I, I feel like someone here needs to do a little work on themselves, okay? Someone here needs to work on their fears. I feel like their fears are really, someone's fears is get, really getting the best of them right now. Yeah. And it's coming out in a way that someone here is not taking care of themselves. You know what I mean? So let's see what else we have here. The High Priestess. Why is the High Priestess here? Three of Wands. Four of Pentacles. And the Page of Cups. I feel like someone here is not expressing how they're feeling and how they're thinking. It could be a thing that someone here is not living their truth. It's like someone here is saying yes, okay, to everyone and everything. But I feel like, you know, also someone here is sometimes uncomfortable, you know, or, or there's something that someone here does not want to do and they're still saying yes. So I feel like someone here is not living their truth. Yeah, uh, Page, of, uh, Page of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Three of Wands uh, here. Wow. Uh, so we have the Three of Swords. Okay. So a lot of you guys are not open to new love because I feel like you guys have been hurt many, 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 many times. And I feel like you made that decision that you guys don't want anybody to. You know, I feel like someone here is pushing their emotions away by distracting themselves with all this work. I feel like someone here doesn't want to deal with their emotions. Right now, I just feel like someone here is money-driven, money-focused, career-driven, career-focused, but someone here is not taking care of themselves. Tower, Aries, Scorpio, Energy, the Moon. And the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. You know, someone here fears that if they don't work, they, they won't have money, or that they will lose money, or that they will go poor. Yeah, I feel like someone here is definitely overworked. Gemini, I feel like someone here is going through a lot. I mean, this could be you. Uh, this could be someone else. You can apply this to your own unique situation, but it just seems like someone here is going through a lot. It could be a situation that someone here is not facing it, okay? So, Gemini, hope this was helpful. Hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video. Like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right, thanks, guys. Bye.